Hi, so basically what I want to do today is to convert my um, LPG generator, that is um, petroleum um, gas, liquefied petroleum gas, to CNG. We want to be using um, gas to power the generator. So um, there are a few things you will need to get this done. The first thing you need a gas cylinder, you need a hose that will pass it to the um, generator, and you need your um, dual hybrid carburetor. These are the three things you basically need the hose, and probably you need uh, what's it called? You know, of course, when you have your um, gas, your gas cylinder, you need something on top of it. I mean, the meter, something that cap it so that you connect your pipe to. So those are the basic three things you will need for um, conversion. So let's go ahead together and see what I've got here and how we're going to do it together. All right, so what we have here is um, the carburetor I bought. Um, that's it, basically. Well, this should not cost you more than twenty-five to thirty thousand, uh, depending on the type of generator that you have. Yeah, depending on the generator you have. So that's uh, the carburetor, the LPG carburetor that you need. Your generator, of course, you get your generator. We'll start removing the tap, the foil tap, or uh, just the this thing. All we want to do here is to remove the carburetor, and um, so. Uh, Removing the cap, then you start screwing out the carburetor. So, this is the air filter, the air and the oil filter, uh, the traps in the oil, and some other things there. So, just remove that and screw all the things that are not needed yet. I'm elevating it so that you can see it clearly. So If you want to do it yourself, you can get your tools and uh, you will definitely get it done. So, um, that's, that's not a big deal. It's not really a big deal, but um, it works. So, that means I'm screwing it. You can stand up. Can still operate. You just zoom it. So you have to check everything. If you're doing your yourself, you have to check how your generator looks like, everything, check how it looks like. Because uh see, um, in Nigeria now to get a new generator is not beans, so it's not rice and beans, so it's something you have to be cautious about, like know exactly what you are doing. And if you cannot do it, you can get a, a number on the screen and then uh, reach out to us which is very important so um we can help you get the carburetor and also help you to fix it if you are in quarantine state you learn besides so that's uh, me uh on screen everything that needs to be unscrewed get out the filter unscrew that uh, until you get to the end of it so uh because um uh, Sincerely, for some time now, uh, buying fuel for me, buying fuel for me, I, I've been I've been in an area where there's no light, and um, so I I buy fuel every day. Like I use fuel every day. In fact, for so for about a month now, I've stopped using my freezer because what what what's that? Yeah, <laughs> what am I putting there? Allow the water to get cold. Okay, so because when you turn on the freezer, you are using more fuel using more fuel yes and uh, my generator uses 45 minutes one uh, 45 minutes to one hour if you are on freezer for five minutes you are not on freezer you use one hour 20 to one hour 30 minutes that's like 600 naira it's now 700 and something or 659 or 695 yeah 695 like that so that's me removing um the carburetor that's the old carburetor that i'm removing out Popping it out, popping it out, popping it out. So that's that's that. The new carburetor, of course, just the same way you replace it back inside. 
is it back inside as a matter of fact i'm even using the light to record this video because like i've, I've turned on the lights in 120 this is 41 i really don't know how many kg of gas i have in that cylinder but uh, i believe that i feel 6 kg and it's been at home for like um, uh they have been at home for like six six weeks six weeks or more than six there about so we're using it as a second second cylinder when the 12.5 kg cylinder finishes so this is it so that's basically the carburetor you fix it back do everything necessary to do like fixing your choke fixing your this thing um the the spring that, that's the spring giving me a little issue there so we fix the spring then you start coupling back all the things that needs to be coupled back your, your, oil, your oil and hair filter put it back in the right position get it putting it back in the right position i'm, I'm, I'm trying as so much as well to clean everything everything needed to be cleaned so that um, the place the the generator will feel new again at least to some extent feel new you get it so screen that screen that back you can tell me in the comment section what you think like uh, what has been your your uh, probably you may be in an area where there's light let us know and uh, what you think what are your questions as regards um, this process and uh, the outcome of it what do you think what 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 do you uh what do you have to say to it because um we're in a time where we have to be wise and do things wisely yes we have to be wise we have to be wise it's it's safe for me, if I can, so people used to come up with the issue of um, it's not safe, it's not this, it's not that. If I'm to talk about it, actually, uh, uh, open fire. Is there no open fire in your gas, your gas cooker at home? And it works pretty fine. You are not afraid of that. So if you are not afraid of that, then you should not be afraid of what um, is going to happen inside your generator. Because inside your generator is actually combustion. Petrol is burning inside your the generator. So... This is me trying to fix uh, the pipe. You have to allow the pipe to enter very well. Just like you are fixing your gas cylinder at home, very important. You have to allow it to enter well, well. So when it enters very well, then you'll be able to, I mean, use the clip. You see, I'm lifting it up to make it enter very, very well. You use your clip. So that's that for me. I believe it is very, very safe. I believe it's very, very safe. So, in fact, it saves the lives of your the life of your generator. Your generator will stay longer. So I, I'm trying to use um, what's it called here? Um, I'm using um, foam here to to test and turn it on so that if there's any leakage, you know, you know immediately that there's a leakage somewhere so my hand was wet i could not um turn that knob so that's why i was using clothes then the other side too i'm putting it at the generator side so if there's a leakage you will notice it immediately from here you notice it immediately check to know if there's um, any leakage since i have ascertained that there's no leakage then i believe i am good to go turning on the generator on the generator, channel C. Good, let's go there. Let's go there. So, this is it. Walking. As I make a walking. So, because I'm still checking to see if there is any gas leakage anywhere. You have to be very this sure. This is for sure. No gas leakage. You got even in your whole house. The yeah, gas you're using, the gas cylinder. Or your cooker, there is it. you have to be very sure there is no that's what is working anywhere. That the gas um, carburetor is working. The so, we used I'm to going switch to between petrol. You see, the exhaust, gas. there is no the so it's not blowing out black yet. 
so we are good to go that's it um and i want to connect now i want to connect the electricity i want to connect it i've tested like i'm seeing it working and then i need to put it on light then that's that's that about that we have light here now so light so we are good to go very very good to go very very good to go nothing is stopping us nothing is delaying us it's working smoothly and perfectly perfectly that's the fabricator as it working as it working that's the gas cylinder so that's basically it you can write in the comment section what you think about this process and let us know if you want us to help you fix it or get the carburetor thank you shalom catch you later subscribe to the channel god bless you